All right, boys and girls, let's do chapter 7.2. And what I'm going to do is um, separate this chapter into two different sections. And we'll do the same in class. And I want you to watch this video. Same drill. I want you to watch it. Take notes if you need to. Make sure you do the got it questions. If you have any questions, I want you to jot them down. And I'll show you at the end how to ask me um, before you come to class tomorrow. Because I need you to have all the got it questions finished. So what we're going to do is learn how to multiply powers with the same base. And I'm going to show you with a really simple question. This is 3 to the 4th power times 3 to the 3rd power. So what I'm going to do to kind of show you why this works is I'm going to show you just a really, if I had to figure this out, what would I do? So 3 to the 4th power is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. I'm sure you'll all agree with me on that. Don't get your calculator out yet. Let's just work on figuring this out. And then 3 to the 3rd power is 3 times 3 times 3. Now what I want you to do is get your finger and count with me. How many 3's is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What's 4 plus 3? Yeah, it's 7. So really all you have to do is add the exponents when you multiply powers with the same base. All right, so let's try an example. 12 to the 4th times 12 to the 3rd. Instead of writing it out, let's just add them. It's going to be 12 to the 4 plus 3, which again is 7. So this is 12 to the 7th power. All right, let's do a little more difficult because we're going to throw some negatives in there. But you keep the base the same. So I don't care if it's negative or not. Let's keep the base negative 5. And then add the exponents. Negative 2 plus 7. You can add. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5. So it's going to be negative 5 to the 5th power. Okay. And one more. Let's do 3. As long as they have the exact same base, it's fine. Let's keep it. That's going to be 9. And then add negative 3 plus 2 plus 6. Negative 3 plus 2 plus 6. I know some of your fingers are itching. You want to grab that calculator. Let's try to do it in our head, though. What's 2 plus 6? It's 8. And then negative 3, so take away 3. That's going to be 5. So it's 9 to the 5th power. Okay, it's your turn. What I want you to do here is pause the video, grab a sheet of clean paper, uh, make sure you put your name on it and the date, and the lesson and got it questions and then do number one and number two. Pause the video until you're finished. All right, let's try another one. Let's do example two. And this is when we throw some variables in there. So um, this comes straight out of the book. 4z to the fifth power times 9z to the negative 12. So what you're going to do is first realize that it's just z that gets the power. If 4 went with it, we'd have parentheses around it, but we don't. So it's going to be the z's get the exponents. That means it's just 4 times 9, which is 36. And then z to the 5 plus negative 12. So that's going to be 36z to the negative 7th. And we learned about negative exponents. And what they do is they push the variable down to the other part of the fraction. So 36 is going to get to stay up top, but the z is actually going to have to fall down there to the bottom so I can change the sign of that exponent because you cannot have negative exponents. And that's your answer. All right, and example two. If the number isn't in the parentheses with the variable, it doesn't actually get the exponent. So that's going to actually be 2 times 9 times 3. 18 times 3 or 27 times 2, however you want to do it, it is 54. Or we can write it out if you want to. So it's 2 times 9 times 3. And then A, B, A. Only same bases get included here. So A, you add those exponents. And if there's not one, it's understood to be 1. So that's going to be 1 plus 2. And B doesn't have anything to go with it, so it's just B to the 4th. Now this, remember, was 54. 
a to the 1 plus 2 power is a to the 3rd, and then you just stick on b to the 4th. Okay, that's your answer. So that's if you have variables. Now I'm going to let you try it. Again, pause the video, do the guided questions, start the video back up when you're finished. All right, last example for this lesson, we're going to um, do a real world problem. Okay, so this says at 20 degrees Celsius, one cubic meter of water has a mass of about 9.98 times 10 to the fifth grams. Each gram contains about 3.34 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of water. About how many molecules of water does the droplet of water shown below contain? So it's showing you right here, this is your one cubic meter of water and we're going to go from cubic meter to grams to molecules so we're going to do a unit analysis um, we're going to figure out how many molecules there are so we're going to go from cubic meters because that's what we have let's just do an M and we're going to do unit analysis, which means we're going to multiply by something that means the same thing. So in one cubic meter, which is m cubed, there's x grams. Or in this case, they tell you there is, let's just do it all in one thing. Okay, so what we're going to do actually is we're going to figure out the molecules of water. But instead of doing like the unit analysis separate, because I think that's going to might confuse you, we're just going to do it all together. So we're going to take the cubic meters that they gave us, which was 1.13 times 10 to the negative 7. And that was right here. That's where I got that. And that's cubic meters. So we'll do meters cubed times... Then they tell us in one cubic meter, we've got grams. So where's the grams? Right here, 9.98 times 10 to the fifth. And that's grams. And we gotta go to molecules, so we're gonna have to figure out how many um, molecules. And since we need the grams to cancel, we're gonna put them on the bottom. So one gram, there's how many molecules. So if you'll look in the question, it's 3.34 times 10 to the 22nd. 4 times 10 to the 22nd, and that is molecules, and I don't know how to abbreviate molecules. Let's do MC, just so we know. And we're going to go through and we're going to um, cancel any unit. So top cancels the bottom, top cancels the bottom, and then all our numbers are on top, so we're just going to multiply all the way across the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to group things that are alike. So we're going to be able to multiply 1.13 times 9.98 times 3.34. So we're going to group that 1.13 times 9.98 times 3.34. And we're going to get a number for that. And then we're going to group the 10 to the whatever power. So it's going to be 10 to the negative 7 plus 5 plus 22. So if you multiply all of these numbers together, you get 37.7, there's 37.7 times. If you add your exponents on the 10, you get 20. But if you remember scientific notation, you can't keep it unless there's one number in the ones place and no more. So I can't have a tens place. So I'm gonna move that one place to the left so it's going to be 3.77 times 10. And since I made my number smaller, I have to make my exponent bigger. So if I made it smaller by one place, I need to add one place. So it's going to be 21. 3.77 times 10 to the 21 power. Okay, there's your guided question. Um, of course, I want you to pause it and do it. And then if you have any questions about it, I want you to go to my Facebook page, which I'll 
put a link up there for that. Or you can do Remind 101. If you haven't signed up for that yet, shame on you, but all you have to do is text at Miss Rich A one B to eight one zero one zero. And if all else fails, you can email me at Richards dot Emily at hcboe.us. All right, hope you do well. If you have any questions, of course. I think I'd rather you ask me on the Facebook page, but however you need to get in touch with me, that's fine. Um, but of course, ask me any questions. Remember, uh, Remind 101 stops at 7 o'clock, and I will not ask answer any questions via email or Facebook or however else you get in touch with me after 9 o'clock. So you got to get your... Everything finished ahead of time. All right. Hope you do well. See you tomorrow.